story of a student's experience without an examination question paper. Now, the question here is, can someone write an examination without being given a question paper, a booklet? Here is the question. Let's dive into the story and see um, what this is all about. Okay, now this is a story. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it out as he is unable to express it. So let me read it for you. Let's get your thoughts, okay? Now, this is a story. My name is Emi Feli. I'm an orphan from a Nigerian school. My first exam of the semester came on March 27th. Even to the point of studying at night for the exam, I had to study for it in order to be ready. The day of the exam has arrived. So I headed to school. I began by looking for my school ID card because I knew that without it, one could not enter examination hall. As a result, I had to keep looking. When I asked my roommate, who was still lying on the mat, he responded with tired eyes that he had not seen anything of sort. Okay, on our way of his present, the ID card laying under him sanguished between the mat and his back. As a result, I had now repeatedly checking a few locations before being impatiently urged to stand up and help with the search. I urged him to stand up and help with the search. He mourned and struggled to stand while wearing a drowsing expression. I saw the ID card where he was laying he was lying and swiftly grab it before sprinting out of the home to the bus stop. When I arrived at the bus stop, I was a little happy to see that there was still room on the bus for me to even, even though it was almost full. That specific bus stop doesn't have a rushing hour. Doesn't have a rushing hour. So it takes 10 to 15 minutes for it to fill up. So I thought I could make it up since there was only one seat left to move. I was about to enter when the bus marshal, the conductor, shouted from outside that the last seat is for him to sit wow. so he ran inside and shut the door of the bus that made me to move to the next bus the next bus behind that was on queue and obviously i was the first passenger to enter the bus. So I sat at the front seat and there were 19 seats, 19 seats remaining to be filled. I was very worried of getting late to examination hall. Wow, sad. Remember, he's going to write exam. So it took like 12 minutes of the bus to get full as I was unable to get another means of transportation. So finally left to the school. Getting to the school apparently I was 
the last person to enter the exam hall after the necessary search by the security at the examination hall entrance. So I went in to get a seat next to the last person behind. I was seated waiting to be given examination booklet with questions attached on it. Other classmates that have obviously been given have seen theirs. So the booklet and the question were both attached together. So I was still seated waiting for the examiner or an invigilator to get to my turn. After giving to the student in front of me, he left to his seat at the front. Then I shouted, please sir, I haven't been given an examination booklet and question paper. He responded from the distance that question paper are finished and he has only one booklet without question or question paper attached to it and so I ran to collect it from him thinking that I can share questions from other students he said that I will be booked for examination my practice wow that was how I continue waiting if he could figure out something but before I knew it he left the hall and students were already submitting their answer booklet the time for the examination was almost off so students already finishing their examination I spoke to one of the invigilator a lady obviously she nonchalantly ignored me that there is nothing she could do about that that i should go and prepare to write a carryover in the next semester for that same course wow i wrote a complaint to the school authorities through my portal but no response i tried going to the headquarters to see who i could speak to but an officer at the gate interrupted and told me to go and come back the next semester that everyone is busy inside that i will not be attended to and he refused to open the gate for me to go in. That is my story. Now, I need your advice and comments on what you should have done in a situation like this. Please, your comment is very important. Thank you and God bless you.